Hey y'all, it's um, Thursday evening and Steven's had a meeting at church, at the church building, so he's um, going to be late tonight. So I usually do breakfast for dinner when he's going to uh, be running late, um, either fix bacon or I've got leftover sausage. And since I'm going low carb, um, I'm fixing waffles, but they're made with a different kind of flour. Um, a lot of y'all know what garbanzo beans are. Well, they grind those up when they're um, they're dry and make a flour. And usually you get it at the at an uh, Indian market. You might see it as besam or garam flour. Um, works really well. You see, I make pancakes with it, but tonight I'm going to try waffles. I never have made waffles with it before. But with the recipe, um, it's a cup of garbanzo bean flour. Um, Whole Foods has had it before in the uh, bulk section, but they don't always have it. Um, so I stopped at the Indian market. Um, we have some in Katy and got that. So one cup of garbanzo bean flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And it calls for almond milk, and it seems to work better when I use almond milk than when I use regular milk. So I'm using the almond milk. This is unsweetened vanilla flavor. Um, one cup of that, one egg, and for the pancakes, it's one tablespoon of oil. Normally when I make uh, waffles with the same recipe with the regular flour, um, I use two tablespoons of oil because a you know, waffle's crispier um, and that um, seems to do better. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And when you mix it up, it's, um, it's very thin like a crepe batter. In fact, um, you can actually make the bread that they make with it. It's very, very thin. So I poured it into my waffle maker here and I set it for five minutes, which is normally what I set my regular waffles at. And we've got a, a couple of more minutes left. Um, normally I don't spray my waffle iron when I make with uh, waffles with regular flour because it's I've used it so much. And um, But this, since it's a different kind of flour, um, I'm, uh, I spritzed it with some, some, some oil there. Um, yeah, I put butter on my waffles just a little bit, but, and I don't use, I use agave syrup, use a dark agave. Um, it's a low glycemic sweetener. You, uh, it's like, you can't use a ton of it. Um, cause it, it still is sugar, but I haven't had any sugar today. And I've had my no sugar headache that I always get the next day after I go off sugar, so I know it's working. Um, so I'm gonna have about a tablespoon of agave I put on top of that. Um, you can use maple syrup, honey, um, jelly. You know, some people put peanut butter on their waffles. So I'm gonna try this out and see if these are any good, if they brown up well. They, they have a nutty taste to them. Uh, they're, um, the pancakes don't like rise up really, really high like you like buttermilk pancakes do. Um, we got just about 13 seconds left, so we're gonna we'll take a look at them here and um, I'll taste them. And if they're good, I'll fix Stephen. One, if I don't think he'll like them, I'll make him regular old white flour, carb, gluten, and all that stuff. So if you're gluten, this is a gluten free. If you happen to, um, so these aren't quite as dark, but they do feel crispy. So they may just not, they may not get as dark as regular waffles. So I'm going to flip them. Now they do when I make pancakes, but these feel crispy. I, I don't want to burn them. So, and they didn't, let me get my plate here. They didn't stick, which is great. That's always a problem. Uh, these are full of protein because they are beans. So this is a high protein, low carb substitute for either pancakes or waffles. So if you happen to have um, a whole food ne uh, near you where well, you might can get the garbanzo bean flour or an Indian market, um, you might try out garbanzo bean flour and look up recipes for them. I really like it. Y'all have a good evening. 
Bye, y'all.